Hi everyone, it's Marissa with Bumblebee Apothecary. Today I'd like to show you how to make a beautiful tallow and raw honey tinted lip balm. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to make this beautiful tinted lip balm in a wonderful color that looks good on just about everybody, I think, and includes the incredible ingredients of 100% grass-fed tallow and raw honey, and then the essential oils of your choice. I have another recipe on my channel here where I show how to make just a plain grass-fed tallow and raw honey lip balm with essential oils, or you can leave essential oils out, it's up to you. This is basically that same recipe but with tint added, so I just wanted to show how to make that. I will link that recipe in the cards and in the description box below so that you can check that out in case you'd like to make a plain version as well. So let's jump in and get started making this. The first thing that I'm going to do is to measure out my ingredients. I'm going to start with my tallow balm. Now this is not just pure rendered tallow, it's actually already been made into tallow balm and that just means that there's a tiny bit of organic extra virgin olive oil added to it to make it just a little bit softer. I find that it's easiest to just use that because that's usually what I have on hand. But if you don't have your tallow already made into tallow balm, I have a video which I will link below on how to make tallow balm and you'll see what an easy process that is. So I'm going to start by measuring five tablespoons of my melted tallow balm into my glass heat safe pitcher. To the melted tallow balm, we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of beeswax. And then what we're going to need to do is to let these ingredients heat up so that the beeswax can melt and completely combine with the tallow balm. So I'm going to add these to a double boiler that I have which is a makeshift double boiler like I always do. It's a pan with water in it with a cloth under the glass pitcher. And I'm going to heat this up on about medium high heat until the beeswax is completely melted. All right, so we are ready for the next step in our tinted lip balm recipe. The tallow is all completely melted and the beeswax is melted with it and both are combined very well. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is to add the honey. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of organic raw honey. I like to kind of swish the measuring spoon around in the warm tallow beeswax mixture to encourage the honey to come out. Next comes the technique part of this recipe that you have to get just right. Otherwise, the tallow mixture, tallow beeswax mixture, and the honey will try to separate out. While the tallow and beeswax are pretty hot, they will stay separated, but as it starts to cool, you will see that the honey stays suspended. So what we wanna do is just mix for a little while. As it becomes slightly cooler, the honey will stay suspended, and you'll see that when you stop mixing, it doesn't stop and try to separate out. That's what we're looking for, for it to stay suspended in. And when it's staying nicely suspended, then it's time to go ahead and add the essential oils. For this particular one, I'm going to do cinnamon. So that is staying nice and suspended. You can see how it does not try to separate out. This recipe makes about five one half ounce tins. So I'm going to be adding 15 drops of essential oil. You only want about three drops per tin of a stronger essential oil like cin cinnamon. Of milder ones, such as a citrus one, then I find that six drops per tin is better. Then it's time to add our tint. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of my mica powder. This is the color Merlot, and I'll link that below where I found that but I was really happy with it. It's a nice warm color in a lip balm and I just thought it was the perfect color to add some tint for a pretty natural looking lip balm but still noticeable like you can it definitely adds color. 
but it's a really lovely shade. And then we just want to stir thoroughly so that that gets distributed evenly. Once you're happy with it being very well mixed, it's time to go ahead and pour it into our tins. Once I have it into the tins, I like to go stick them in the freezer right away. That way they can solidify very quickly without anything having a chance to settle or separate out. Okay, so now they're all solidified and ready to go. And these are so beautiful. I'm really excited with them. I'm really happy with that color that I found. And this is not something that I have in my shop yet, but if you think it's something that you'd like to see in my shop, then leave me a comment and let me know. I have the plain tallow raw honey lip balm version in my shop, just not the tinted one. So let me know what you think about that. And if you try it, also let me know how yours turns out and how you like it. I'm going to link all the ingredients that I use in the description box below so that you can find those easily and make them yourself. Also over on my blog, there will be a full written recipe and also a printable recipe card if you'd like to print that out. I also have a free ebook that is DIY organic skincare recipes and I will put a link in the description box below where you can grab that, but there's several different things that you can make in there, toothpaste, deodorant, sunscreen, things like that. And so I will put a link to that if you wanna grab that ebook for yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week on traditional health wisdom and living a sustainable DIY lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.